I wish I could cover all three in this short period of time, but I'll try to cover as much as possible. That the most important thing that I want to talk about is the understanding of food, makanan, and physical activity. A lot of people have wrong concepts. A lot of people don't understand how food is directly related to the amount of physical work we do and how does it cause us to become fat or uh, to lose weight. But if you don't understand the different type of foods and their nutritional value and the role of each food in making you fat or gross, you have to, you will find it very difficult to advise people. You would not know as teachers or physical educators how to train your children in the school. You would not know what to advise them with regard to Makanan and tell them what they should eat as a healthy food that they can perform better. So today we will try to go simple and talk about what are the different foods and uh, what are the categories which are involved in. So basically a person needs carbohydrates that include sayur, uh, guagua, some uh, noodles, rice, nasi, plus uh, bread. Yeah? Then the fats, all the lemon, and the goreng food, all the oils, sweets, now anything we eat, no matter what, it will convert into sugar before it is stored as fat. Alright, so we must remember, now if we eat sayur, it will convert into glucose or sugar in less than one hour. It becomes glucose, okay, and that glucose is the fuel of your muscle. In the muscle, it is stored as glycogen. So, like our car, the muscle fuel is glycogen. And glycogen is actually glucose. So, if we take food, it turns into glucose. If the muscle is tired, because you have exercised, it will turn into glycogen in the hati and then go muscle the lung muscle straight away. But if you have not exercised, then the heart will convert it into fat and make you heavy. Same thing if you eat lemak, goreng food, the oil will go in and it will again be converted into glucose and fatty acids and then it will be stored. So this is how the food works. Now, if you take sayur, it you get 4 kilocalories of energy or glucose, let's say, simple. Whereas, if you take same amount, 1 gram of fat, you will make 9 kilocalories. So, double the fat you will store. So, that's the understanding that you should keep in mind. So, protein, minerals, water are others. People Healthy eating can help you to reduce a lot of weight. As I said, if you eat less calories and if you choose right food, you have a better chance of storing less fat. And if you complement it with exercise, we'll talk about the quality and timing, duration and how much to exercise a little bit later. But for the time being, we are talking about how the food and the quantity of the food, the quality of food affects your health. Now total diet or a balanced diet, which is very difficult to achieve on your own, should contain more carbohydrates and I told you what are carbohydrates. Every day we should try to eat more sayur, gogoa, nasi, 
and all those things because it converts into sugar faster and you can burn them faster. We can't take direct sugar because then punching minus there will be problem. Right? Diabetes will happen. So we have to take complex sugar. What do we mean by complex sugars? They break down slowly and then become sugars. Alright? Carbohydrates convert into sugar slowly. So the insulin and other body systems, cortisol, everything is working to break them down slowly in the heart. And they are gradually stored or burned off in the muscle. Fat is only 28% protein, are 12. So we don't need. We don't need to eat lot of dagi to make dagi. You see, the karawa, what does it eat? Nothing. It doesn't eat protein. It just graze on the grass. And it still can become big, almost half a ton. So the psyche has to change. We need to understand how food works for our body. If there is no demand in the body, the food will not make your muscles. You have to create the demand first, then it will be absorbed. So proteins are very little. Basically, they are building block. They are required. There are a lot of amino acids, the smallest unit of protein, which help people to make a lot of hormones in the body, a lot of fluids in the body are made up of amino acids. So, the kilocalories, I told you, proteins for one gram gives you four kilocalories, carbohydrate also less. So, people who want to diet and curse normally go on the protein diet because protein take about two hours to digest. Very slow breakdown into sugar. Carbohydrate within one hour. So, if you are training twice a day, then you should take more carbohydrates. If you are wanting to lose weight, then your diet should have more protein. So that it converts into sugar slowly, you are still energetic for the whole day, and you can do exercise and burn most of it. But the problem is with the fat. If you take same amount of fat, you have plenty of energy, which you can't burn normally in a workout. We'll see what is the normal expenditure. A person, Basil, is the one who is sleeping, playing Nintendo or other games, is a sedentary person. Normally, that kind of a person burns 1500 calories. Then, the sedentary person is the one which is going to office, maybe gardening or less than that, burns about 2005. And the athlete will burn up to 4,000 or 6,000 calories. Cyclists can burn from KB to air up to 6,000. But if you want to eat 6,000 in a meal, you cannot eat. Impossible to eat 6,000 calories. That means we have to pacha or supplement it with special bars or uh, energy drinks or something to put on this energy for the cyclist to do cycling from KB to air. So these are different requirements. To understand the need of the body and how much to eat will help you design a balanced diet for that person. Everybody is different. Nobody is saying so. We have to think about it when we are advising people. Basal metabolic rate is the amount of energy that is required to run your heart, your brain and your breathing. Obviously, all other organs also, but this is me because they are automatic. They're working even though you don't want, even though you want to stop them, you can't. So they need energy, minimum energy requirement in the body without physical activity. All right, or the minimum physical activity. You can have more information on that website, and you can learn about BMR and everything from that website. Here is the statistics of calories per hour that you burn. The running being the most, right? If you run for one hour at a speed of 13 km per hour, which is a marathon runner, I'm sure a marathon runner can run that speed. 
I can't. I can go up to nine. But let me, I can only burn 800 if I'm running. 